Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks session with Lynn Allen. Today, we're going to talk about some tips that have to do with dynamic input. This is a relatively new feature. A lot of us have embraced it, some of us still haven't. So I just thought I'd point out some of the great advantages of using the new dynamic input. I'm going to go on the polyline command. You see down at the bottom of the screen, I have my dynamic input on. You can see that very clearly. You can see it on the screen as well. I'm going to go ahead and start to draw a polyline. And it's very clear to me the distance and the angle of the polyline that I'm creating. And it's very easy for me just to go in here and type in a value, like say 13 foot 6, for example. Those of you who are not using Imperial units, please forgive me. <laughs> I'm going to move my cursor over to the right. Let's say maybe like 13 feet, just as an example. Once again, very easy for me to work with. Let's say I wanted to draw at a very specific angle. There are two boxes that are illuminated. I can hit my tab key and I can jump back and forth between the two boxes. I'm going to jump over to the box that has the angle in there and I'm going to type in 45. And you'll see that once I do that, it's locked that 45 degree angle into place. That could come in really handy. I'm sure some of you can think of some great uses of that. And now I'm ready to type in the other angle. Let's type in six feet. And that's just so much easier than going to the trouble to type in at six feet at an angle of 45. It slows you down by moving your hands over to the keyboard and all of that good stuff. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and come up here and do perpendicular because, well, that's what I would do in the real world. And there we have our polyline. But let me show you just a little bit more. Notice if I select my polyline and I move my cursor over to any grip, how it shows me the dimensions. Makes it very easy for me to check my drawing, make sure I did it correctly. And not only that, but it also makes it easy for me to change my drawing. This is almost like parametric modeling, which some of you might be familiar with. I could come in here and change the value of that dimension. And once again, if it wasn't the correct dimension, I could hit the tab key to move back and forth to get to the one that I wanted. Hit that, change that to 12 feet, and you'll see that it automatically changes the length of that line. So in this case, my dimensions are driving my geometry, which is always a wonderful thing. We'll make your everyday drawing life just a little bit better. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me.